Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at turbo frames and dynamic form fields. So we've got an example here where you can create your account and you're signing up as a person. So you've got your name, your date of birth, email and password. Um, the scenario we've created here is that we want to have a toggle between signing up as a person or signing up as a company and a company um, will get rid of the date of birth field, have a tax number and instead of saying your name we're going to change that to say company name. So in our form we've got all those fields created, I've just hidden them so I'm just going to uncomment these fields and if I reload that you'll see we've got a radio button here for signing up as individual or a company and we've got that company name field and tax uh, tax or company number field and what we want to do is that when you click company radio we want to hide the name field and date of birth and we want to show company name and tax number and if you're on individual we obviously don't want these two top fields to be shown so we're going to take a look at this um, using turbo frames and when you click on the radio button we basically want to navigate that turbo frame and load the appropriate fields so uh, the first thing we've got here is uh, our account and we've got an enum for account type so enum in rails if you haven't used it uh, basically make sure that the account type field is one of the following values but it also gives you methods like individual or company that you can call to check uh, which type of account it is so we can go into our form first and we can basically put in a check here to say if account is company then show company name company number else we want to show uh, your name and date of birth so if we reload the page that's great um, that's it set up for individual now if we click company we obviously want to switch that information out so um, we want to wrap a turbo frame around all of these top fields so if we go in here and add a turbo frame tag And we'll just call it account types and then we want to go down below here and close that off and I'll just tidy up the indentation here a bit now if we reload the page still nothing changes so um, the way I've accomplished this before is having a navigation controller uh, in Stimulus and we'll just attach this to our turbo frame. So um, if we go to our turbo frame tag and we'll say data controller navigate and then we have an action and a URL here. So the data action we'll add to each of our radios so that when they change we'll call this navigate method and we'll look up on each of those radios for a URL attribute and then basically tell the turbo frame to navigate to that URL so if we take this data action we'll go into our radio button for individual and say data action and then obviously we want url as well so we'll go in and say registration actually new registration path and what we want to do here is basically pass in our form params the way that we want them set up so um the radio is called account type and we want to set its value to individual so we'll just go in here and say uh account which is the root object account type individual 
and then we'll copy these across because we want to put these on our other radio button as well and go in here and on this one instead of individual we set it to company and what that will basically do is pass these params along with the new registration path so when we load this turbo frame again it will be setting the params to company or individual so we'll see if that reload and as you can see that is doing something um, what it's actually doing is setting the radio for company doing the navigation and defaulting back to individual and that is because our controller is just creating a fresh account every time so what we actually want to do is copy this across and when we're setting up this account for the form we want to use our account params the other thing i usually do here is just put in a rescue and in case this require account isn't met so like if you go to registrations new without passing any of those url params you're going to fall back to this rescue and get an empty hash which will just make everything work so if we reload the page now when we hit company it's requesting that url and as you can see the fields are correct so toggling between these we're just navigating that turbo frame and getting the appropriate fields so if we want to go ahead and test that let's just give it an example and then hit register and you can see that's gone through so that in essence is how i like to accomplish dynamic form fields using turbo frames and obviously um we're just doing a simple if check in here like these fields could be anything could be dynamic select fields and this same strategy should work just fine for that so i hope that's useful and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or other ways that you've done something similar.